What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to try to answer some questions as well as showing a range test of what these batteries would do and show you how you can get the best bang for your buck on this battery. So before we get the video really started, let's go ahead and get this range test started here. The golf cart I'm using is a 2014 Club Car President. It has a six inch lift, 23 inch tall tires. It has a DC to AC Navitas conversion kit on it. I have it set to 200 amp output and we have the speed limit set to 35 miles per hour. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and start the range test right now. So the number one question I get asked, whether it's on email, the Finertainment Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, Instagram messaging, or on some of the photos and on here is which battery would you recommend for a golf cart? But, and when they say the but, they usually put I don't need to go 45 to 50 miles per charge on a golf cart. You know, I'm just doing this right here for golf or cruising around the neighborhood or whatnot. And also, I'm not looking to break in the bank on a battery for my golf cart. And then the last question is usually something like, I want a brand battery. I don't want a, you know, Chinese knockoff battery. What would you recommend? So I was thinking to myself, I could just keep answering those questions every single time or I can make a video to hopefully uh, answer some people's questions. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. With my golf cart and on these range test videos, I usually keep my amperage output around 200 amp output. Now, let me explain a little bit on the amperage output of your golf cart. Generally, factory golf carts is a 225 amp or a 250 amp output on your controller. That's what it's rated at. That does not mean that your controller is going to be producing 250 amps at all times. It's not going to do that. There's going to be a couple things that will kill your range on golf carts. And let's go over that. Number one, high amp output controllers. Okay, if you got your amperage output set real high, that's going to kill your distance. Now, if you're just driving in the neighborhood, you're driving around town, you're driving on the road, do you need 600 amps? I never even set mine past 200 amps. I can get up to speed, and when I say up to speed, I can generally get up to about 35 miles per hour, 200 amp output in about five or six seconds. You can up the amperage of your controller, and what that's gonna do is help you get from zero to the top speed of whatever you have set quicker, okay? In relation to that, it's kinda like a big carburetor on a muscle car, you know what I mean? So when you're giving it the gas, when you got the pedal to the floor, and you got your, all, all your butterflies are open, you're pulling as much air into the engine as you can, you're also pushing as much gas into the engine as you can as well. So what else doing is killing your fuel economy. So the, the, the more amperage you use on a golf cart, especially these like big, you know, 600 amp output uh, controllers like on those Nathitas here, if I set it to that, you know, I could potentially use 600 amps, but what's gonna happen is gonna kill my range over time. Number two, tire size. The bigger tires you go, the more force it's gonna take to turn those tires, that's gonna kill the range as well. Number three, passengers. Passengers kill range, okay? The more accessories you're running off of your DC to DC converter and the lithium battery, that will also uh, contribute to uh, lower the range of your golf cart as well. Okay, there's a lot of factors that play into it. Also, bearings in your golf cart. So if your bearings are tough in your golf cart, that means you just can't just barely push your golf cart and it rolls. You're gonna have to use more amperage to get your golf cart going. So bearings is another thing that most people don't think about. Uh, are your tires inflated enough? If your tires aren't inflated and they're deflated, that's another thing that's gonna kill range. Just note that 250 amp put controller is not going to produce 250 amp output the entire time you ride your golf cart. Generally speaking, you use the most amperage just to get the golf cart going, and then your amperage levels will lower down, say, 60, 70, 80 amps when you're riding. Now, the battery we're using on today's video is going to be a big battery Falcon Elite. It is a 48 volt battery. It is 150 amp output continuous. 360 amp output burst mode for like six seconds. That's a 60 amp hour capacity battery. Now all three of those amp ratings are completely different and they mean different things. So let's go over that. 150 amp output continuous means that you can pull 150 amps from your battery continuously. 
Now, I previously mentioned that you will only use 60, 70, 80 amps once you get going. You use majority of your amps to get it going. So that's where that second number comes in. 360 amps burst mode for six seconds. So six seconds is a long time, okay? If, if a golf cart is running 300 amps or, or more for six seconds, I mean, you're pulling some serious amps. You're not on the street. If you're pulling 300 amps, you're probably in some snow. You're probably in some sand. You're probably in some mud. And majority of the times, most people aren't going to be doing that with their golf cart. The, the third rating, 60 amp hour is the capacity. The AH is your capacity. So it's kind of like your gas tank. Let's think of 60 amp hours like a 10 gallon gas tank. Then let's say if you put two of these batteries in here, say later on down the road, you know, the, 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 the amount of range you're getting with your golf cart now, you may want to double it. You can just add another battery to the system. You can double it. That's what's great about the big battery system. It's, it's inexpensive to start. And if you want to add amperage to your system, you can do that always at a later time. That's one thing that I love about the big battery setups. All right, so the size of the battery, a lot of people ask me how big is these batteries? This one Falcon Elite battery on today's video is in comparison to two lead acid batteries, whether they're six volts or eight volts. This one battery weighs alone about 60 pounds, maybe 58, 59, I can't remember off my head. Easy to maintain, it's got handles, it's easy to install. And number three, price. Let's talk about price. Let's go into the Big Battery website real quick and check it out. Uh, www.bigbattery.com. Okay, once we get to the Big Battery website here, um, you can select golf carts and you can choose your voltage. In our case, on today's video, it's going to be 48 volts. Okay, and it shows you the 48 volt batteries. You have the Honey Badgers, you have the Eagles, which the Eagles are good batteries as well. Even though it says 699, that's a 30 amp hour battery. Uh, I would recommend at least two of those Eagles in your golf cart. Uh, we should be doing some Honey Badger tests soon. But on today's video, we're doing one 48-volt Falcon Elite battery. Now, the battery is going to come with one cable that's going to be included with the battery purchase. So let's talk price. Okay, real quick, this is the last thing. I know some of y'all probably want to talk price here. This battery here is $1,390. This one cable that's included has ring terminals, so your ring terminals... One will go to the solenoid and, and the other one, the ground wire will go to your controller. Now, Big Battery does not sell a one single battery kit. So we're gonna have to assemble it together and let's go over costs and let's show you all of that. So going back into the battery here, the battery is automatically gonna include your one cable here with ring terminals. Ring terminals, will one will go to your controller ground and the other will go to your positive or your solenoid. Next, we need a charger. This is the yellow charger. It's got a digital readout on the charger itself. It's got an LED. Uh, red means it's charging. Green means it's fully charged. On the back of the charger, it has a fuse location, and it also has a uh, on and off switch. If you want to put a meter on your golf cart, we'll just include it on the price here just to show you here. So your meter is 20 bucks, and the meter extension cable is uh, six feet long, and it's only $3. So that right there will connect the meter to the battery and give you length. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's buy this now or add it to the cart. Once we get into the cart here, now look at our price down here it is $1,634. Now shipping is $122. Shipping, I got over here to Miami, Florida, which I think is the furthest away from where they at. These guys are in California, so I try to go as further as, it, as far as possible. What I'm trying to say, I guess I can't talk today. $122 for shipping and tax is zero. Your total is $1,756. But you need to add my part. Add the coupon code Fentertainment. Just like that, Fentertainment. Apply coupon. It does not have to be all caps. It can or it can't. It's up to you. Apply coupon code. So we turned out for $1,617 shipped to your door. You can have a lithium battery for your golf cart. The coupon code Fentertainment removed $139 away from the battery itself. Now, let's say we didn't add the digital capacity meter or the extension cable. What would the total be? $1,578 dollars. That's a great price to get a good name brand battery 
for your golf cart. So you may be asking yourself, how far did you go in today's video? guys the test is over we went 20.3 miles so that's what we did on today's video with one 48 volt 60 amp hour falcon elite battery now i gotta call someone to come pick me up so there's a couple of things that determine our factor remember it's lifted with a 23 inch tall tires and it has the navitas ac 5 kilowatt 600 amp controller this controller has a lot of torque Okay, it is not as efficient as say a Silver Wolf Tecon setup in a golf cart. Those are more efficient and will get you much more greater range. Now, uh, I say that because we used to have a big battery Husky in this golf cart a long time ago, a couple of years ago. And on the AC setup, I think it went like 45 miles or something like that on the Navitas. But when we did the Silver Wolf Tecon, we went 58 miles. So we actually got a longer range with the different motor and controller setup. So I'm building a golf cart now for the channel. It's going to be on 14s and low pros, and it's going to have the Silver Wolf Tecon uh, motor controller in there. It's a uh, permanent magnet AC motor, which is more efficient, smaller, not as torquey as the Navitas is. And we're going to see about the range test on this right here golf cart as well coming up later on this uh, year. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. So if you're visiting bigbattery.com, be sure to use the coupon code FINTERTAINMENT to save 10% off your battery purchases. Uh, if you like the video, drop a like, share it with a friend, subscribe, hit the bell notification that lets you know every time I upload a video so you don't miss any of my videos if you hit that bell notification. Other than that, guys, I don't know what else to say, but we'll see y'all later.